Okay, people. So, um, in, in chapter 6.1, we will briefly discuss how to break down and choose, um, and choose R, okay, over here as you see on the screen. So together with me, okay, uh, okay, maybe before I start, I just want to point it out that n choose r, okay, is the same as n choose r, okay, and you can find this button in your calculator, okay. So yeah, let's uh, move on to talk about uh, the lesson objective. So we want to learn how to break it down. This is the general formula over here, okay, but for simplicity's sake, today I probably not discuss too much into the formula. Just over here, I want to point out what is the meaning of this exclamation mark over here. The exclamation mark is read as factorial, okay, spelled like that, factorial. And I mean, in simple layman terms, suppose I have 5 factorial, all it means is just 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Okay, and uh, maybe just one more example. So if I have 3 factorial, it's just 1 times 2 times 3, okay, simple as that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so so you know, in essence, I want to show you okay how to break down the common uh the common and choose R that you will see okay in the syllabus okay, and I'll show you a very easy simple way to remember uh some of the common ones okay. So for example, I have n choose one okay n choose one or you know can also be written like that okay n choose one okay in the denominator I'll have 1 factorial, where did I get this 1 factorial? It just comes from the number 1 over here, okay? And in the numerator, okay, I will start with the term that I see over here, okay? So in this case, I see an n, okay? And if the number here is 1, I will only have one term in the numerator, okay? So I just stop here, okay? And, you know, this can actually be simplified to just give you n, okay? Because 1 factorial is just 1, okay? Next one, n choose 2, for example, okay? So n choose 2, once again, in the denominator, the number that I see will be this number with a factorial sign. So in this case, it's 2 factorial, okay? And then in the numerator, okay, I will first start with the term that you see over here, which is in this case is n, okay? And because the numerator says 2, I will have a total of two terms in the numerator. The other term will just simply be the first term minus one. Okay, so in the first, in this case, my n is uh, my n is the first term, so I get n minus one. Okay, and similarly, if I were to simplify this, this is just n times n minus one over two. Okay, because two factorial is one times two, which is just two. Okay, if you're still if, if you're feeling confused, don't worry. Many more examples to to go. Okay, so let's discuss n choose three. So I have n choose three. And once again, the number in the, new, uh, in the denominator is just the number you see over here with a factorial sign. Okay, so I got 3 factorial. Okay, and the, deno uh, the, numerator, the numerator will start with n, okay? As, because as you see, uh, an n over here, we will decrease each time by 1, okay? So n minus 1, n minus 2. Okay, once again, why did I stop here at n minus 2? Because I see a number 3 here. This means that I'll have three terms in the numerator. Okay, as you can see, there are three terms here. Okay, and uh, once again, I can simplify this. So this is n, n minus one, n minus two, okay? And three factorial is just one times two times three, which is six. Okay, one more example. Okay, n choose four. So I have n, n choose four. Okay, so in once again, in the denominator, okay, I will have the number over here, Okay, which is 4 with a factorial sign. Okay, in the uh, numerator, okay, I, have a to I will have a total of 4 terms. Okay, I know I have 4 terms because of the number 4 over here. Okay, so once again, I'll start with n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. Okay, and I'll just stop here. Yeah, of course, the 4 factorial, you can, you can uh, simplify it. Okay, 4 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which gives you 24. Okay, and numerator, I'll have this. Okay, okay, so that's n choose 4. Okay, um, from my experience, you only need to know up to n choose 4, okay, for all levels. So, yeah, I don't think I want to discuss beyond this scope today. Okay, but uh, before we end this uh, part of the chapter, okay, I just want to point out some of the common, uh, common uh, terms that you will see. 
Okay, this one you better copy down. So n choose 0, n choose 0 is just 1. Okay, and uh, n choose 1 is just n. Okay, and uh, n choose n is just 1. Okay, and before we end this example, I want you guys to try now on your own. Okay, try uh, finding okay what we what we did just now. Okay, from n choose uh, n choose one, n choose two, n choose three. Okay, maybe just the first three terms will do. Okay, so find out what is n choose one, n choose two, n choose three. Okay, so yeah, you can also write it like that. Okay, I'll pause the video here for you to try. Okay, I hope you have tried it. Um, over here is the summary. Okay, so you know I think all of you should copy what you see in the screen down. Okay, it's very important. Okay, for us to dis uh, to know all this before we can discuss uh, the next part of this chapter. Okay, I'll see you soon.